Hi, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to create animations in Blender and then import them into P3D. I'm going to start by opening a blend file. This is a 3D model that I purchased on the internet. And once I open this, you could see that it's basically a Mars Rover 3D model. And typically, for 3D models that you purchase is that it's a single mesh. So it's a single model for animations. I would like to separate only the top part up here, which is the camera, and I'd like to rotate that. So in order to do that, I'm going to press tab to go into what's called edit mode, and I'm going to switch on x-ray mode, which means that I can basically select all points by doing a box select like this. And you can see now all points on this camera up here is now selected. And once I do that, I basically can right click it and then I can say separate selection. And now you can see if I go back to object mode, you can see now it has its own. It's basically its own object. Now, before I can rotate it, we also need to make sure that the center of gravity of this object is actually where it is at the moment. So the origin of this needs to be at the center of gravity. Let's go to menu, go to set or region, and then say our region to center of mass. And you can take volume. That's what I usually do. And once you do that, you can now see that if I rotate this by clicking on the position and rotation here, I want to rotate it around the vertical axis and you can see the vertical axis here is set for C and now if I start rotating it you'll see that it actually rotates nicely around that axis but for now I'm just going to return that to zero degrees rotation and then I'm going to insert what's called a keyframe so I basically press I and then I say I want a rotation keyframe and once I press that, you can now see that the rotation parameters here are basically shown in yellow. So you can see that. They will be what we are trying to animate. And then I'm going to then open up the animation control up here. And then let me zoom in a little bit again. And as you can see, this is my timeline and this little yellow dot here was the iframe that I just created. Now, after eight seconds, let's say I then want to insert another iframe. But before I do that, I want to change the rotation around the set axis to say 360. So one full rotation. And once I've done that, I can then insert another I keyframe here for rotation. And now, I'm able to play my animation. So I go back to zero keyframe and press play. And you can see now that it rotates nicely around its axis. So having done this, all I need to do now is to basically export into a GLTF file. And I'm going to call this Mars Rover dot glb and it will automatically save the animations that i did and create a new model and then i can select the mass robot glb that we just saved and when i open this you will see that the camera here is rotating as we just created and this rotation here i can then switch on and off by going into the animation tab and let's switch it off for now because what i really would like to do is I would like to connect this animation with a hotspot so that the hotspot is basically rotating camera. And once you click on it, it will then execute this animation here. And let's just place that on the camera itself and save changes.
And now you will see that if I click rotating camera, it will actually stop rotating the camera. And finally, let's just add a few textures. And you do that by pointing to an existing texture that you have loaded, or if the texture is not available, you can point to a texture file. In this case here, it's just a new texture. Find the texture file and open it. And you can now see the rover starts looking like it's supposed to. Like that. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make animations using Blender. I hope you found it informative and we'll catch you on the next one.